Hi, I'm Jesse Ortiz, and this is Masters Week, traditionally the start of the golf season in America. While watching the Masters, I always like to see if I can pick up some tips on how to improve my game. For golfers who've never been to Augusta National, one of the most interesting things is understanding the topography of the golf course. When you see the players hit balls off the tee, if the ball is rolling quite a bit, they've hit it on a severe downslope. If the fairway is pr pretty much flat, the ball will only bounce a couple of times and they won't get much roll. Golfers are shocked when they get to Augusta National to see how hilly, how much the elevation of the golf course plays into the game. They're shocked. On television, everything is flattened out. When you see the golfers on the greens, you get kind of an idea of what's going on there, but not really much because the television flattens out the greens tremendously. You'll see golfers at Augusta putting in odd angles to the hole. And then you see the ball break tremendously and you wonder, boy, you didn't see that on television. That's because everything is flattened out. The fairways, the tee boxes, the greens, to win at Augusta, you've got to hit the ball far and you've got to hit it high. The greatest Masters champion of all time, Jack Nicklaus, hit the ball a country mile. But what was lost on a lot of golfers was that he hit the ball very high. Jack's trajectory with a one iron or a two iron was probably about what most of the pros were hitting a four or five iron at. Hitting the ball that far and that high was a tremendous advantage to Jack Nicklaus because he could then hit the ball high and land it softly like on a parachute onto the tiered greens so that he could one or two putt because three putting at Augusta is very easy. In fact, most of us if we were out there, we'd be four putting a lot of those holes. So if you could hit the ball high and land it soft, it was a tremendous advantage. You hit the ball, even if you hit the ball and missed the green, landing it soft, it would bound just a little bit off to the side. But if you hit the ball low and hot at Augusta, you're going to miss the green. If you hit the green, it's going to roll into an area where you're easily going to three or four putt. Or if you miss the green, it's going to bound away into some severe trouble. And you'll have a heck of a time then chipping up to a spot where you can two putt. Lee Trevino always said that Augusta was designed against him. Lee would say that his game was left to right and you had to hit the ball right to left. But what Lee didn't tell you was that he hit the ball relatively low, learning the game in Texas. He was a phenomenal wind player. But at Augusta, hitting the ball low is trouble. So what can you learn from that? Well, what you can learn is that if you learn to hit the ball high and land it soft, you'll probably score better. Most of the time, the terrain around greens is a lot tougher or it drops away quickly. So if you hit a ball hot and you miss the green, you're going to get into a lot of trouble. Take a look at your golf bag. Take a look and see which irons you hit high and which ones you hit too low. Maybe you hit your five iron too low. Maybe you hit your six iron too low and you only start hitting it well or high with a seven iron. Maybe you should be getting a, a hybrid and replacing that five or six iron. Or maybe your four iron. Get rid of it. Go for a club that you can hit the same distance, but hit it higher and land softer. And I'm not just talking about your long irons. Take a look at your fairway woods. If your three wood is always going in hot and you're having trouble hitting it, it's always low, maybe you should switch to like a four or a five wood. Get the ball higher. Don't give up distance. Hit it higher, land it softer, and you're going to probably see that your game is going to improve. The start of the golf season starts with the Masters. I wish you all a successful golf season. Play often, play well, but always have fun. Thanks for listening.